here with Oscar Valdez. Long time no see, right? Yeah, long time. <laughs> We've been keeping you busy. Um, but last time we spoke at the press conference, that training camp hadn't really got started yet. Uh, now that we are only a few weeks away from training camp, uh, how would you summarize how it's been over there at the Rock Gym? Well, it's been perfect. You know, training camp's gotten very good, and the same as all the other training camps. Uh, working hard, that's pretty much it. You know, me and Manny have worked very hard on um, physically and mentally for this fight. What kind of difference has Manny made um, in your corner since you've been with him? I mean, every fight you seem to improve. You seem to to learn mistakes that you've made before and try to correct them. How much of an impact has he made for you? Well, in boxing, you never stop learning. And Manny is, uh, has been a long time in this. And he, uh, I've noticed a difference ever since I've been with him. Just um, working on certain things. You know, every day we work on something different. We see either my jab, or, you know, working on my defense, or working on some things. Uh, studying my fighter and working on his mistakes, just trying to pick up what he, whatever he misses out, you know, trying to come forward. But, um, you know, we just work on something every, different every day. And, you know, as, as Manny's a, a smart trainer, I consider him. And, he, you know, he, he works very hard, same as, same as me. My, my trainer works very hard. So, you know, we, we, do, it, we do it as a team, and we're going to show it this uh, April 9th. You fought on many big stages before, obviously being an Olympian and a, a world champion. How would preparing uh, for that big stage in as an amateur kind of compare to preparing for this big stage for you in terms of like the pressure? You know what I mean? Because the pressure of being an Olympian, competing for a gold medal, and now you're at the pressure of you know everyone's expectations for you fighting on a pay-per-view stage, uh, Manny Pacquiao undercard, that kind of pressure. Well, there's no pressure at all. On the contrary, okay. I'm, I'm motivated, and um, it's um. um when people throw the flag at me and you know, say, you're the next Mexican style, you're the Mexican, Mexican idol, you're gonna be the next Mexican thing, I, I take the flag and I'm gonna try to do the best, best to put, to put the Mexican, Mexican flag up high. Uh, you know, Yevgeny Gradovich, they call him the Mexican Russian, mostly because of his style, how he comes forward and he comes to fight every time. I, we've talked about this before, you're like, but I'm a, I'm a Mexican Mexican. You know what I mean? I, I, they call him that, but, but that's me and, and that's my style. Uh, so what does that kind of make you feel from him? You know, do you feel like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show who is, has the true uh, Mexican style on that night of the fight? Even if he, he, he wouldn't say he was a Mexican, uh, the Mexican Russian, you know, whatever style he brings, whatever, um, he's just another opponent for me. You know, I don't, I don't see him as, uh, as any other difference other, other, the other fighters. You know, I just want to go in there and um, try to take his head away, knock him out. And that's my, my, my goals right there, um, just to come out with the win. But it makes it more interesting now that he's found some Mexican-Russian. So, you know, like I said, I'm just got to get proven who's the authentic Mexican and, um, you know, just show my style right there. What do you think a win for you against Gradovich on a pay-per-view card at this point in your career uh, would mean? I know every fight is the biggest fight because that's the, that is the next one. But there are some fights that can elevate you more if you look impressive. Do you feel like this is one of those fights? Oh, yeah. I think uh, for the first time, I think if I, if I win this fight, I'm going to get the credit I deserve, you know, and... Um, I, I know if I win this fight in a clear way, that will put me on a bigger step for my dreams to fight for a world title and be a world champion. So for that, Granovich is my way, and I have to I have to um, I have to beat him, make him aside, and go out to the next level. But right now, Granovich is only my, the only thing in my mind. And um, April 9th, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show that I'm 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 good for bigger things. All right, good stuff. Well, would you like to give a message to your fans? You can English, Spanish, wh whatever you choose. Uh, go ahead, April 9th. I mean, you got to come to Vegas, check us out, or buy it on the pay-per-view, but you tell them why. Oh, April 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to tell you when I'm going to give my best to uh, come out with the win. I know it's going to be an exciting fight because of Gronovich's style and my style. Uh, I guarantee we might even steal the show. All right, thanks, Oscar. Appreciate it. All right.